photo of Manly Bridge by John Brook. So let's start the watercolour painting. We of course start as we always do with the first light wash. I'm chucking in all the blue, now I'm putting in some of the green and I'm starting to paint the bridge. I haven't done any pencil work at all, I'm drawing with the brush and it's a way that I like to work a lot of the time and the reason for that just gives me a certain amount of freedom. I always feel that if you're doing a drawing first, you end up simply colouring the drawing, and that's sort of colouring in. Anyway, I, I want to keep things light and fresh and quick and slick, uh, but the important bit, the really, really important bit about watercolour is to start light. It's like no other medium. It's not like oil or acrylic or gouache. Watercolour, you have to start light, and you end up moving forward towards the darks as you move along. You start incredibly light with the first wash, as I did with the light blue and the green. And as you can see now, I'm putting in a bit of calligraphy. I'm starting to paint uh, stronger values, um, stronger darks, uh, especially where the trees are. I just want to get those going, and I can work around those with lighter shades as well. Um, pushing the colour along, and again, able to change things as I go along. I'm trying to get that arch right, the arch reflection in the water there. That's an important pinch point of this particular painting, isn't it? It's getting that light to come through. That bridge is actually backlit. And you'll notice at the moment it's still too light, isn't it? So don't worry, just keep your powder dry. Wait until the end to start bringing the real darks in. What I'm doing, I'm painting that bridge a bit in the negative. I'm leading a sliver of sliver of light you can see at the top. There's also a sliver of light at the bottom as well, at the bottom of the bridge at some point. Now there's some of the really dark valleys and we're just about finished now. One final little coat over oh, there we go and we're about done. Join me on Zoom to learn all the watercolour secrets.